Today we are adding my all-time favorite card to the collection binder. Let's see what it is. Welcome back everybody to the collection update series. I hope you guys are doing well. I am beyond excited to jump into today's episode. So as you guys know, this is the weekly series where we are updating a 480 card Ultra Pro 12 pocket binder with 12 new cards every single week, hopefully adding some really fun, unique, and valuable pieces to the collection. Now as part of this, we always invite you guys to comment down below, let us know what kinds of things you have been collecting over the previous week, and we have got some interesting ones. So this week we're highlighting Mega Gunshot, who uh, actually commented down below saying they are collecting all of the showcases from the two D&D sets. They actually pulled, I believe, an Ancient Gold Dragon uh, from their latest pack, which is pretty awesome, so congratulations to you Mega Gunshot. We also had Mike McKee, who is one of the reoccurring kind of viewers here on the channel, uh, especially for this collection of update series who pulled a lot of stuff check out the last video because he has been really commenting on every single one with some amazing cards mike and mega gunshot thank you guys so much if you have something you have been collecting if you picked up a new card or anything like that make sure you leave it down below you'll get highlighted in the next episode without further ado though guys let's go ahead let's jump into the 12 new cards including my all-time favorite all right, guys, and I am very excited to say that my all-time favorite card is, truthfully, Elish Norn. Uh, I love this card. This is the original printing. There's a number of different printings of Elish Norn out there, but this is just a special place in my heart for some reason. I love the artwork of Elish Norn. I'm also a big fan of reanimator strategies in general, and Elish Norn kind of fits in really well with those because she's obviously just hugely powerful, especially against go-wide kind of creature decks, that kind of thing. So, truthfully, this is just an exciting place pickup for me. Uh, as far as value goes, certainly there is some with Elish Norn. This is by no means the most expensive. At some point, at some point, there is a, I believe it's a Judge Foil promo that I do want to pick up. Uh, I think it's like $200. It's got the Phyrexian mana, uh, uh, text on it, uh, which I think is really exceptionally beautiful. And so it's just one of those cards that I really want, but I can't justify. Maybe, maybe if we complete the binder, maybe that'll be it. But really happy to add Elish Norn to the binder. We do go ahead and jump into an actual promo dig through time this is the love your lgs version i believe uh i i've talked about these a lot i'm so surprised by these cards because they're beautiful the old school card frame the old school foiling star they're really stunning cards but they're really cheap uh, this was, I think, less than a dollar for this card, and it's kind of amazing. I went ahead and picked up four of them because I do really love this one. Uh, Dig Through Time, obviously a really powerful card featuring the delve mechanic and allowing you to really refill your hand quickly. Just a cool card. Uh, really happy to pick this one up. I do love the LGS uh, promos. We've actually got another one coming up later on, uh, but we'll talk about that as we get there. Speaking of promos, though, we have, I think... Uh, maybe not the most expensive card on this week's uh, uh, list. I think there might be one other one, but Vendillion Click Judge Foil Promo absolutely stunning this came up on the random card generator and i was like oh my gosh i have to have this funny enough i've only got one or two Vendillion clicks all of which are reprint clicks um and so i still even after picking this one up obviously don't have the original printing but I had to pick up the Judge Foil promo. I mean, look at this beautiful card. That foiling is stunning with the DCI logo in the actual text box. And Vendillion Click is honestly just a really cool card. It's one that I love to run in cube. It's a good modern card as well. Very good control piece. Uh, just a really strong uh, card all around and some great value. So truthfully, just a huge buffer for the binder. Uh, another promo. <laughs> You're noticing a theme here. Uh, Curse of Thirst. Uh, this is not a super valuable card at all. Um, but as you guys well know, I do love promos. I think we're proving that uh, this episode. And uh, I, I, this one came up and I was like, you know what? Sure, why not? Uh, I love a good promo. I didn't have this one before. Uh, these curses were, I believe, introduced in like OG Innistrad. Correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, but I believe that's where this card was originally from as well. And I just love these. I think the promos are really nice. The alternate artwork, the star foiling is really beautiful. Uh, and so it was an easy pickup for me. Again, not a huge valuable piece, 
But I think what's important to realize is when you're collecting, and I've talked about this many times, but I try and reiterate this point, it's not always about the value. Sometimes it's just about the cards that you like and the cards that you enjoy collecting. This for me fits that vein perfectly. It's not super valuable. It probably will never be super valuable. The important thing about it though is it fits my collection style, which is promos, alternate, 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 wow, artworks, things like that. Uh, and so for me, it was just an easy pickup. It was a really nice one and I'm very happy with it. Uh, all right. Not a promo. We have Kalidus, uh, Blood Chief of Get. This is the original Kalidus from uh, Zendikar. Beautiful, beautiful artwork by Todd here. Uh, truthfully, Kalidus, this is one of those cards that I've never owned, but I've seen play. Uh, I think it's a very powerful card. It's a little expensive for like true to life play, uh, whereas what I mean by that is I don't see it in a lot of competitive formats. Uh, but that being said, the artwork on it, absolutely stunning. It's so unique because, you know, normally you think, oh, this is this big legendary creature. This is important to the story. We need him front facing. We need him really menacing, that kind of stuff. Well, it certainly pulls off the menacing look, but it's not front facing at all. You lose a lot of the detail because it's just the backside of Kalidas, basically. Uh, jokes aside there. Uh, and so it it's kind of just a really unique piece for the artwork. Uh, and for that reason alone, I knew I wanted to pick it up, but uh, it is also just a really fun effect, a really powerful effect. You can certainly use it to do quite a bit. Uh, and so for me, I really like it. I thought it was a nice pickup. Uh, we do have another one that kind of fits the same vein, but we'll talk about that in a second because I forgot we have Recurring Nightmare. This might be the highest value card in this uh, this week's update. This is reserved list, uh, just absolute stunning card. Uh, this is a recurring way of bringing stuff back from your graveyard, basically. Uh, it's a very good cube card, obviously a good uh, long-term investment because of the the reserve list tag on it uh it's just one of those cards that i've always wanted to pick up but never had the ability to until now uh and so when it did come up on the random uh scryfall card generator i was like you know what obvious i have to pick this one up even if it is just for cube i had to pick it up and my goodness am i so happy that i did uh i don't always get to pick up these more expensive cards um and so when i do i like to showcase them here because they're so uh, unique, you know, like how many times have you seen a recurring nightmare in recent years? Uh, and maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but for me, it's one of those cards that the only time I've ever seen it in paper is maybe once. Uh, and that was years and years and years ago. And so ago, uh, wow. Uh, and so for me, this was really a, uh, a really special piece to pick up. And again, it fills out a slot in the cube for sure. Uh, and here we go. This is the other one that kind of falls in line with the Kalidas play. Uh, this is Skittles. Uh, a lot of times they call this Skittles the Blight Dragon. Uh, a really nice kind of modern-ish card. Uh, it's obviously Scars of Mirrodin, I believe, or Mirrodin Besiege. It's not Mirrodin Besiege. I think it's Scars. 4-4 uh, for 5. Uh, flying Infect. Uh, it gains haste until the end of the turn, and then you can regenerate it. I think a lot of times this gets to see play more in, I'm assuming, Commander. Uh, I don't play any Commander, so correct me if I'm wrong there, but I, that's just my assumption. This is a really powerful card, but it's not something that sees a ton of play, yet it still holds some value, it seems like. And so these are some of my era cards. This is kind of when I was really into Magic for the first time, and so, or I guess second time. Uh, and so I, I really just love these cards. I think the artwork is stunning. I knew I wanted to pick it up, and this and Kalidas kind of fit in that same vein for me, which are really powerful cards, really unique cards but don't necessarily see a lot of play. They're just really special pieces in my mind. And so I was really happy to pick this up as well. Uh, yes, Glimpse of Nature. This is a really cool card. So uh, this is a Champions of Kamigawa, one green mana for a sorcery. Whenever you play a creature spell this turn, you draw a card. You may be thinking, well, wait, we've got cards like Beast Whisperer that anytime you play a creature card, you draw a card, but it's a creature itself. So it sticks on the field. It does a lot more for you and all that stuff. Technically, you are correct. There are two reasons why this card is so good. It's very cheap, and elves exist. If you play any uh, elves deck ever, um, 
Glimpse of Nature is a phenomenal way to go off in a single turn. Uh, elves, as you probably know, generate a lot of mana, especially in things like Legacy or even Vintage Elves, like old school elves. Um, you can really pull off a lot of mana very quickly, and what this allows you to do is spend only one of that mana to continuously draw cards for the turn, which allows you to continuously produce more mana, which allows you to continuously draw and play more cards, and hopefully win on the spot. Uh, it plays similar to a, a little bit of a combo piece, but it's a little bit less necessary if that makes sense to win. It just really gives you that out. And so uh, for me, this was a card that I've always wanted to pick up, but just never had the opportunity, kind of forgot it existed. And then it popped up. I was like, ah, got to have that. Uh, and so I was really happy to see that one. Uh, a newer card here, guys. Impervious Great Worm, the promo. Uh, I believe this was the buy, yeah, buy a box promo for Guilds of Ravnica. Um, kind of interesting because it's the only printing of this, but it's one of the most powerful creatures in the game. It's a 16-16 uh, for 10. It does have Convoke and Indestructible. I do remember a lot of people trying to like cheat this out and you know, do some silly combo pieces while it was in standard, and it did work to some extent, but uh, truthfully, it's just a it's a it's a big creature and I like it. Um, there's not a lot more to say about it. I do also just like that it's a buy a box promo, you know, promos. Uh, but it, it's ju it's just a big worm. Um, I like big worms. <laughs> uh, here we go, guys. Our other uh, L love your LGS promo is Bolus's Citadel. Again, very cheap, but a beautiful card. Uh, love the old school card frame as always, that star foiling everything. Uh, and Bolus's Citadel is honestly a ridiculous card in my opinion. I think it's one of those that works so well in cube. Uh, you can obviously abuse the heck out of it in a lot of different formats, but the idea being that you just get so much out of this, it's such a powerful piece. It's one of those that in cube, if you like tinker for it or something ridiculous like that, all of a sudden you can kind of just win the game. Uh, and so truthfully, this is just one of those cards that it popped up. I didn't know there was an, a Love Your LGS version of it. Uh, and so when I saw it, I was like, ah, well, got to have that. And thankfully, um, yeah, it was it wasn't very expensive. It's just a really cool card. <laughs> uh, all right. I have some explaining with Clockwork Dragon. So here's the deal. This card is not a promo. It's not super valuable. Um, it's not even like very good. Um, there was a time when I was very young uh, where I couldn't afford magic cards because I made like $2 allowance every week and that was it. Uh, and it was mostly for chores and so I really didn't have the opportunity uh, to buy a lot of cards. And I was looking online and I found Clockworks Dragon and thought, man, this is such a cool card. And so I printed it off onto a little sheet of just copy paper, cut it out and put it in a little sleeve. Uh, and played with it in a, a silly, you know, tabletop deck that I ran. Um, and it was not good. Uh, but for me at the time, it was like the best thing in the world. I thought it was the coolest card. The artwork with the yellow to red kind of gradient, cloud gradient in the background. I just thought it was a really powerful card. In hindsight, looking at it as an adult, it's not. Um, but it's still a really nostalgic piece for me. Um, I did think about picking this one up in foil, but I was like, nah, you know what? I'm going to go with just the basic Clockwork Dragon because it's so silly. Like, it's not a good card at all. It's just nostalgic, and that's 100% the only reason I picked this one up. Uh, super cheap card if you're interested. Uh, you can definitely pick it up, but I, I just thought it was a really cool nostalgic piece, and so uh, I'm really happy to own this one. Honestly, I think I've already got one of these um, in my Mirrodin binder, but... I just thought it'd be kind of fun to to pick up one for the binder here and kind of share that story because I think we've all been there. There's cards out there that are very nostalgic. Mind Shrieker is another one for me that it's not a good card. Like it's actually really bad, but it's nostalgic. It means a lot to me. And so I, I wanted to pick it up for this, uh, this series. I thought it was a really special one. And finally, look at this guys we have memnark speaking of foils uh this is foil memnark um i actually do have a regular dark steel memnark already uh but it did come up on the random generator and it did uh when i went to go check out it did say like hey this is a foil card or do you want a foil or something like that and i was like you know what yeah i kind of do uh and so i got a foil version <laughs> um a little bit more expensive for sure but kind of worth it i think this is a beautiful card if you don't know memnark was the main like baddie in the original um 
uh, Dark Steel, Mirrodin, Cycle, all that stuff. He uh, was literally insane. If you've read the stories, the novels, uh, it's really interesting because he's absolutely just like dual personality insane. It's crazy. Uh, but having finished that cycle, I have a new respect for the card Mimnark because I know the story behind it. And uh, it's honestly just a really powerful card as well. Um, I do think it sees some commander play, but truthfully, it's just a really special piece because of the lore aspect. And to get it in foil is really special as well. So this honestly, it's been a good week, man. Uh, let's, uh, let's wrap this one up. All right, guys, so that is the 12 new cards that we are adding to the binder this week. Again, we will always have the cole collection value as well as the, uh, the the completion aspect up on the screen. I don't know which side it's going to be on. I always forget. I, I get them backwards a lot. Uh, but all of that information will be there so you guys can follow along. Again, I just want to say a huge thank you to Mega Gunshot as well as Mike. Both of you guys commented on the last video, and I really do appreciate that, along with, I believe, a couple of other people as well. Um, all of you, it, it's it's a pleasure. I really do appreciate you guys being a part of this, uh, sharing your collection updates and that kind of stuff. It's it's something that we can all do together, uh, and I want to do more of that kind of stuff, if that makes sense. And so this is really a special moment for everybody. So thank you guys so much. I do appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I thought this one was a really special one, so I'm excited about it. Uh, we will have another one next week. We may jump in with a pack opening or two every once in a while just to kind of break it up a little bit but this was a blast so thank you guys so much do make sure you share your next collection updates with us in the comments and i will see you guys next week have a fantastic weekend